So every year more and more baits are coming out and more companies are coming out with modifications of baits and it's almost an endless possibility to keep up with all of the different baits coming out there. And most oftentimes, what ends up happening is we find out about the bait when it's too late. We end up seeing it on TV or it's all over the shelves in our local Walmart where it's just too late or our buddies are out there catching all the fish with them. So what I want to do is I want to talk about the five baits that I think you need for 2023 because they did so well for me in 2022 that I think it is a must have going forward. For those of you guys that are new to the channel, don't be afraid to subscribe to follow along with the regular content I have coming out. But let's talk about the five baits you need for 2023. So the first bait that I want to talk about is a Six Sense C6. A crankbait is one of the best covering water tools out there, and I even just did a video on why you must fish them. So if you want, go back and check that out. But a C6 is a really not talked about crankbait, especially where I live up in the northern country. It is a phenomenal tool because I can fish this bait so deep, and it works extremely, extremely well for largemouth, smallmouth, and spotted bass. Because it has a smaller profile and a bigger bill on it, I can fish this bait from anywhere to from five, four to five feet, all the way down to 11 feet. I've even ran this bait in open water on St. Clair and caught some giant smallmouth just open water fishing it. And I've even gone down to Pickwick Lake and bounced it off rock piles for big largemouth. So it has probably been my most productive crankbait. Not probably, it is my most productive crankbait for 2022. And it really led me to love throwing a crankbait. We've all seen all of the different combinations of crankbaits out there by all the different companies. And it can be super, super overwhelming. So when you truly find one you fall in love with, it's just absolutely mind-blowing. We all have our favorite baits that you pick it up and you just know you're going to catch fish and it feels really, really good. Well, that was the six Cent C6 for me. It led me to catch so many fish and cover a ton of water and just have a lot more fun throwing a crankbait. So if you live on a fishery that has a lot of rock or cranking is really, really popular, I guarantee a C6 is going to be a phenomenal tool for your arsenal. The next bait that I want to talk about is also by Six Sense, and it is a topwater bait. It is a Six Sense Catwalk. And it is a lower profile topwater than you most often see because most often topwaters are bulkier in the fact that they want to ride high in the water column so they get that nice back and forth action. Well, this gets that same action, but it's in a thinner pencil style profile. It is almost similar to a, a Zara Spook but it's a little bit thinner, it sits a little bit further in the water, and it helped me get a ton more bites when that water slicked off and that sun came up. I could still catch fish with it. And the biggest key for me was we often miss a ton of fish on top waters when they blow up over top of it, or they pop the bait out of the water, or they just miss it completely. Well, once I started throwing this bait, I landed a ton more fish, smallmouth included. I fished for a ton of smallmouth with the top water, and this, used to be one of the most frustrating techniques for me was topwater spooks. Once I picked this one up, I was able to put so many more fish in the boat, it was absolutely insane to me. And this bait has some of the most incredible cutting action that I had seen out of any topwater I had thrown. And like I said, it just sat a little bit lower in the water, which I really think allowed those fish to get the bait a little bit better. And it, the hookup ratio was crazy compared to some of the other topwaters that I've thrown. Don't forget to like this video so your buddies can also see some of my favorite baits that I think they need. But let's start talking about number three. The third bait that I want to talk about is going to be one of our absolute favorite styles. And that is going to be power fishing a chatterbait. But this one is a Z-Man Mini Max. Most oftentimes you don't see mini chatterbaits out on the market. And when you do, they're very finesse. They're made for fishing for panfish or they're just super cheap in general. But the Mini Max has a super stout hook on it which is a really good hook, and it comes in all the way up to a half ounce. You can get it in a quarter, three-eighths, or half ounce, which is super, super cool because now you can target that smaller bait fish profile with your favorite bait. It has a smaller blade build into it, and it was one of my absolute favorite baits for river fishing, and in the fall when those fish are chasing that really, really tiny shad, I was able to catch a ton of fish on it. Smallies, largies, it didn't matter. And it is honestly one of the greatest baits for smallmouth because of this smaller profile, they get it every single time. I can't tell you how many times I went to tough fisheries like the Mon River, for those of you guys who don't know, the Mon River in Pittsburgh is a super, super tough smallmouth fishery with very minimal largemouth in it. Typically takes like 10 pounds as a bag on the Mon River. 14 pounds is a really, really good bag and you'll probably win. 
And most often times you have to finesse fish it because they're smallmouth and they're smaller smallmouth. There's not a lot of power finesse or like power fishing baits to use. And I caught so many big smallmouth for there, two and a half, three pounders, and just covered a ton of water with this Z-Man Mini Max. And it was just super, super cool to see how on tough fisheries, I could still put some of my favorite tools in my belt to catch some of the biggest fish in that system. One of the most common techniques that we all use today is also a Texas rig and flipping. Well, one of the baits that I recently discovered was a Z-Man Palmetto bug. I caught so many fish flipping grass and flipping laydowns and whatnot with this bait because it's your typical beaver style bait that everybody in their arsenal has. But here's the coolest thing about it. It is that Z-Man Elastec plastic and I was able to put like three of these on my boat all day and I might only fish one of them. I think I can count on one hand how many of these baits that I lost last year to fish, which is incredible. You could go through and have 50 fish days with this bait and not lose a single one of them, which saves us a ton of money, which you guys as bass fishermen know, we spend too much already. So having a bait that I could use for one of my favorite techniques, flipping heavy grass in the summertime, was incredible because I was going through so many less baits than I always had. I think some of the baits that I had to throw away were baits that got knotted because of how stretchy they were. I was catching smallmouth and largemouth on this flipping grass and they still couldn't trash the bait and we all know how hard smallmouth hit baits. So I was really, really excited about this bait and I'm really excited to throw it in 2023. The last bait that I want to talk about is one of the most uncommon baits out there but I think it's going to become super super popular soon and that is going to be a Damiki rig. Now we all know that suspended fish are some of the hardest fish to catch and this Damiki rig is able to target those fish with all of the new forward facing sonar technologies out there on the market today. It is a revolutionary field in our sport, one that was previously undiscovered unless they were right below you. So now that you can see out in front of you at, from top to bottom, hundreds of like 120 feet out there, I think most of the units go now. It's pretty incredible what we can do, and this Demiki rig allows me to cover that water and catch those fish by throwing it out there, keeping it just above their head because I can see it all now, and catch some of the hardest and biggest fish out there. I had a super, super successful tournament down on Dale Hollow Lake, which is a legendary smallmouth lake. The world record smallmouth came from there. And I don't know what he caught it on, but I can almost bet you it was a Demiki rig. I was catching big largemouth, but I was catching six pound largemouth on this bait in 40 feet of water. It was absolutely insane. And it really opened my eyes to the field of suspended bass. And I was able to utilize this bait through tournaments and different bodies of water the rest of the year and catch fish that otherwise I never would have even thought about catching. So that was a must have for me. And it's going to be a must have going forward into 2023. I'm willing to bet most of you guys don't know a whole lot about a Demiki rig, so I just put a video out about a Demiki rig. You're going to want to check that out, so follow the link in the channel. And I will have all of this stuff linked down below, as I always do. All of the different gear that I've talked about, so you can get your own for going forward into 2023. But I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless, and thank you guys for watching.